you know, people are always going to speculate when you're, I guess, out of contract at the end of the season. But the, the thing I'm really, you know, fortunate to have had is the time to, to assess and have those conversations with, with the club and to know that for at least the next couple of years I'll be with the football club and, and continuing to be part of the journey of the, you know, I guess, Western Bulldogs. I've probably traditionally only done sort of shorter deals in, in reflection and that's mainly been because I like, you know, continuing to keep things fresh, not putting really ceilings on things in too long a period and it really has probably, you know, in a way kept me kept me hungry, kept me on my toes and it just has been the way, you know, we've been able to do things probably previously pretty well. So I see this club doing some, you know, really good things over the next four years and hopefully longer and, and keen to obviously be as much a, a part of that as I can be. Selection four, Western Bulldogs. Marcus Bontempelli, Northern Knights, Eltham Junior Footy Club. I just remember being super excited to have been probably drafted in the first place and, and even at pick four there was some speculation whether I should have probably been drafted that high at all and didn't really feel any expectation which was a you know an interesting one because you'd think you know, as a, as a high pick, maybe you start to feel that, that pressure straight away. But I think maybe just because I'd come from so far back, I just was taking, you know, everything in as much as I could. And I'm really fortunate that Matty Boyd, Dale Morris, Bobby Murphy, these three types were really good people for me to sort of cling on to and learn off right at the beginning. And, and they really got me started, I think, in terms of inspiration to want to play the game and hopefully, you know, be able to help others along the way. No, nah, he's not aware. Oh, I'm sure he might, it might have trickled through, but he's been my coach pretty much from everything bar year one. So we've built and continue to build a really strong relationship that, you know, we had even prior to probably the, the, the captaincy. He strikes a really nice balance of coach versus friend. And, and that's something I think we all cherish as, as players. You know, I, you know, I hope he's, he's somewhat excited, but obviously it's only one sort of one part of the, the puzzle or one piece in the puzzle. So continue to look for, you know, how we can progress together, I guess, and, um, you know, make the most of the time we've got together. I certainly feel like I'm, I'm influencing the game probably more consistently than I have been and honestly I, I really put that down to the, the growth in the group across the board. Tommy Liberatore, Jack McRae, Joshy Dunkley, now we've got you know Adam Trelaw, Aaron Norton's a young player, Joshy Bruce, and then from the back end, you know, Keithy, Bailey Williams, Bailey Day. Like there's just so many names that now you sort of can, can reel off and they're all some of, of the parts, but we all make each other better and I feel like I'm really benefiting from the growth in, in some of the oh, some of the careers of, of these players. So incredibly fortunate and it's definitely helped me be able to do what I can do.